Hello everybody. Firstly, I apologise for not being around for a while. I've just been full of busy. I've been uh, in Italy for a couple of trips. Uh, yeah, busy. Tourist season, so uh, now I find myself in the UK. I managed to squeeze one in. I'm not in the best of uh, rooms here. I'm uh, in a hotel in the Welsh town of Clendidno, North Wales. And it's, yeah, it's, it's not a very quality room. It's the type that has wood chip and stains on the wall and outdated wallpaper. And uh, it's been painted by an amateur who doesn't even know how to cut in with a paintbrush. So <laughs> yeah, not the best of hotel rooms, but that's what you're getting in British seaside towns at the moment. Well, if you pay budget, if you pay for budget holidays, hasten to add, I'm not on holiday. I wouldn't pay for this room. No way. I'm here working. Okay, so today, Master Soap Creations. Peppermint Latte, Peppermint Latte. Gonna be a red colour cast here because there's a, a red curtain behind me. Here's the soap. Now it always says peppermint. I get more of a, um, like a eucalyptus menthol type of hit. You know, like a, like a soap that has eucalyptus menthol in it. The cooling effect. It definitely doesn't feel like peppermint to me or smell like peppermint. Even now I can feel it. It's in the eyes. So yeah, it's, uh, it's I wouldn't call it peppermint. I'd call it like the eucalyptus menthol. Brush, new brush to the den. Uh, it's Yarchi, get it the right way up. Yarchi, and this is the Janus, the Janus or Janus with the uh, cashmere knot, nice little knot. 24 mil, I do believe, but uh, that way you've got a green brush, and you've got a white brush, and that way, hey, <laughs> the Janus, yeah. So, a nice little brush. That's going to be finished off with the matching off the shave splash, and the razor for today is the Mazamun Nadachi from Portugal. Just a little bit of overhang here to be aware of. In there I've got a perma sharp blade on its first use. Handle, it's just has these like golf ball dimplings at the top here, but the uh, the Mazamun, the other Mazamun has the dimples all the way down the handle. It's just a Nadachi that just has the uh, top quarter dimpled. So not a very grippy razor, stainless steel, bead finished, it's got this rounded end on here, pretty much akin to the uh, King C Gillette, but uh, yeah, not the grippiest, not the easiest to put down, you can't, well I suppose there is a stand for it, but like all these razor stands, it's got to cost a fortune, and I don't buy razor stands anymore, so let, with that, without further ado, let's crack on, I'm going to wet the mush, just going to face lava today, I don't know why, I just feel like, Maybe it's because I've got a nice new shiny brush with a nice new handle and I uh, wanted you to see it before I messed the bloody thing up. Okay, into the water, squeeze the excess off the brush and in we go. Give it about 20 second load I think. That should do it. Straight away, <laughs> get this menthol vapour coming off straight into the highs. So I say I don't I don't think it's peppermint at all. Because uh, from shave soaps I've had before that are peppermint, I've not really had a menthol hit off them. You just like picked the uh, the scent of peppermint or spearmint or whatever mint it is. But uh, you don't normally get a blasting belt to the eyes like you do with this. So that said, I do like it. Just gonna rub this in. That's a pre-shave. Mm. Yeah, so I, like I say, I do apologize for not being around for a while. But oh, life and work has to come first, doesn't it? Plus, I have to spend time with the Bev's now. Don't know Bev, yeah? <laughs> Uh, even if it means squeezing in shaves before I get back home. Okay, well, let's get in here. So it's going on dry and pasty. At the moment. Working the bristle. I'm just going to dip the tips. For that quarter. Dip the tips for this quarter. Uh, 
and start building the lava. <laughs> don't get that. I got that. I got went a bit too high on a brush there. I really don't want this stuff on the eyes. It'll burn me, burn my eyes to pieces. In fact, it is too late. Gonna be careless with the brush. Trying to race, trying to do things too quick. Slow down. No need. Yeah, so just uh, just shade the dome. I used the uh, oh, of course, shave stick for the dome. And you can probably tell oh, that's a British seaside resort by the uh, noisy seagulls. I went out earlier to the shops and uh, needed to buy some new footwear, etc. The seagulls around there are dangerous, they really are. They are. If you're walking around the, uh, if you ever visit the town of Clan did know there's other places like St. Ives and quite a few uh, British beach resorts. The seagulls are in so much competition with each other. That's. Uh, it's not advisable to eat anything when you're anywhere around them because they just swoop down and they try and uh, take things out of your hands as you're eating. In fact, there was one time I was here, I was eating a donut and uh, some seagull decided he wanted his donut and he swooped down. He used my dome as a landing strip. across the top of my head and had it off with half of my donut and um, <laughs> so last couple of days I've witnessed it a few times that happens with a few people so it's just not safe to walk down the street heating because when they're in the feeding frenzy and they start to compete against each other for food <laughs> they don't care how they come about it damn thing it's eagles and you've got the fact that they actually poo on you that's like a cement mixer dumping its load onto your cranium anyway this is a uh, very smooth combination. The perm shop and the Mazamoon Nadachi. Pretty smooth. A good marriage. Okay, so going with the grain. Yeah, so I'm actually uh, getting back home tomorrow. So I'm doing all my shave now. To, <laughs> to save a job tomorrow. Okay. Spread the remaining slickness. Going for the uh, second pass. Or the second lava up. Now, I'm on the second uh, lava up here and... Uh, I can definitely feel the uh, cooling effects of the uh, said peppermint. It's got a, more of a cooling effect than uh, Prorazzo Green, I would say. <laughs> Nowhere near as strong as Cryogenics, but uh, it is up there. It's up, it's up towards the... Uh, if there is a scale, for menthol soaps this is i'd say mid mid upwards just above mid not what i expect as i say because peppermints i just expected to smell peppermint i didn't expect the vapor to hit the eyes and cool the skin but that's what it's done and i don't mind we're not the world's biggest fan of uh menthol soaps but it's okay I 
I'll certainly not refuse to use it. Quite a fun scent actually, isn't it? Peppermint Lassie Shaving Green. Shaving soap rather. Who would have thought? Imagine if our forefathers come back now. Ancestors. What's that you shaving with? Peppermint latte shaving soap. Mind you, you'd probably be even more gobsmacked if you uh, saw so you using a uh, cartridge razor. Razor? Razor. What a disposable. Would they be impressed or horrified? Shut up, you. Yeah, it's just been uh, okay this week. I haven't had much to do work wise, but I'm not too far from the town I come from. No, I don't come from Wales, I do come from England, but it's very close to the Welsh border. Same town as uh, Chris Bedwell, CB Shaves. So, uh, yesterday, my son and his family come to pick me up. We went out for lunch. And uh, also there's a, a former colleague we used to work with, ooh, well over 25 years ago. My company have hired him in to do a job, so he's here on one of our jobs. He's working for a Scottish company, doing one of our jobs, so uh, caught up with him. It's really cooling, really cooling now. <clears throat> Yeah, please forgive the lighting conditions and the uh, overall conditions in here to be honest but uh, and the noisy seagulls but for those that don't know I'm a travelling shaver I am the travelling shaver we have Jeremy Tyler in the States his channel is actually called the travelling shaver but he spelt it wrong, instead of having two L's and Traveller, he's only got one. Potatoes, tomatoes, 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 that should be, sorry. And of course, predominantly against the grain now. And it's doing a fine job. No blades are paying my jobs. I don't use them anywhere near enough. I do have a load in storage somewhere. I've got loads of blades from everywhere. I just found this one lurking at the bottom of my uh, soap bag, my travel bag. Not the best way to look after your blades, I must say. How am I nearly done? Wi Fi speed at this hotel? Probably crap. Phone signals, Wi-Fi's everywhere around this town of Clan doesn't know it's crap. And there we have it. Okay, just gonna do the old coldy cold rinse. Plenty of residual slickness to uh, rinse off here, fellas. Let's take a little while. Don't have to duck down. Okay. Hey. 
Uh, I'm happy with that. No weepers, no creepers, no meditations, no concerns. Perfect, perfect though, perfect shave. Right, matching up the shave splash. It's uh, not alcohol based, it's uh, witch hazel based. Let's give it a good shake. God, those seagulls are so noisy. Now, the aftershave splash smells so much more nicer than the uh, soap. It smells much more like a latte would do. I'm going to put a little bit on the buns because, uh, as I say, I have uh, I've shaved the head. I'm getting some sting coming through on the face. Nothing better than a witch hazel based aftershave splash, is there? Hey? What better thing can you put onto the skin? And my eyes are streaming here, and it's yeah, the menthol's really hitting home. Okay, let's get this set up here. So, for today, Master Soap Creations from South Africa Peppermint Latte, Peppermint Latte. Rays of today, Mazamun Nadarche from Portugal, in there. Perma sharp blade, first use. The brush for today was the Janus. There it is there. All soapied up and messied up. Needs a good clean now. And whoops, the splash. Where's the matching? After shave splash. Okay, there we have it. See, thanks. Uh, sorry about the uh, lack of videos lately. Just busy. Life gets on top of you. Work gets on top of you. But thanks for joining me on this one. I'm crying my eyes out. <laughs> thanks for watching thanks for all the recent likes and even getting subscriptions even though I've been quiet for a, a couple of weeks so thanks very much everybody much appreciated I appreciate you all take care now I'll see you further down the line bye bye